Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about the weak mindset. I know what it's like to have a weak mindset. These days, I feel incredibly strong. And I can confidently say that. I haven't always felt very strong. But things have changed. One of the things I noticed as I became stronger was that when I was weak, when I had a weak mindset, I didn't really realize it. I wasn't going around noticing how weak I was. I felt like I was trying my hardest and that life was so hard. I felt like the, there were unknown forces against me. As if like the, the universe hated me. Maybe God hated me. I just have bad luck or bad karma. It's just a really dangerous, fucked up world and I can never seem to get on top of my shit. And when you have that mentality, you can justify, easily justify being a loser, being one of these go nowhere, do nothing kind of shell of a people. You don't read, you don't learn. Your diet is the same as you were when you were five. You know, you're eating macaroni and cheese and hot dogs for dinner, right? Because that's what I like. Your, your goal in life is to just somehow slide into the grave unscathed to it's like like you want to navigate a game and you just really want to get to the end without dying that's your only goal is to go to death without dying first right <laughs> play it safe you know it's that's why it's kind of funny because we're all going to die anyways and people with a weak mindset clutch to life so then the entire life is not fulfilling because they're clutching so hard because they're so afraid that it's going to be fleeting and it's going to go away I'm not suggesting that one should go out and become an adventurer become Indiana Jones or some extreme sports star where you're jumping off base jumping off of buildings but there's a certain comfort zone that the weak mindset lives in because of this view that the world is so dangerous and out to get them this is why the weak mindset gets confused by the strong mindset sometimes a weak-minded person will be offended by a strong-minded person because strength intimidates them offends them they have uh, they don't really know how to how to take strength when when a weak person gets around a strong person a lot of times not always you can't speak in absolutes but it, a lot of times they will be repelled and I know what that's like to to be a weak loser and strong people come around and you don't get them you don't want them in your circle they're not cool enough your coolness when you're weak is I guess what judged on how weak you are in the same respect as when you're strong your value gets based upon how strong you are I know some people that are so strong mentally and physically and I aspire to be like them and I'm not going to say that they're better than me but I can honestly say that they are surviving better than me that I aspire I wish to be able to to be on their level these motherfuckers have been at this game a little longer than me and they're moving a little faster than me and I would love to be as strong as that and I, I recognize strength I'm not looking for their weaknesses they may have a bunch of weaknesses but I'm identifying the strength and saying okay now that that's a quality that I want to be able to have for myself that's some shit right there that's cool what you did right there or how you acted or the way that's that's some stuff that I want to be on too a weak person looks the exact opposite way they overlook the good things as insignificant and who cares and identify the weak things and they will try to bring down a strong person by saying well look you're not that strong you know <laughs> you're just as weak as me to bring you down they want to bring you down that's how they can feel better about themselves is to is to lower a strong person to always say that a guy with big muscles is on steroids a lot of them are not all <laughs> not all a weak person all anybody with muscles is a steroid goon and probably stupid 
some douchebag. As you become stronger and you start building muscle, you realize that none of that is, is true. There's, there's maybe some aspects of that to people. I'm sure you can find idiotic douchebag dudes, you know, at the gym. But when you become stronger, you start seeing strength because you want to aspire to being strong. You want to see your goal so you can acquire it. And we, it's, a, it's a very healthy thing to do that with others. That guy's really rocking and rolling, and I want to be able to do that too. This is the type of mimicry that humans have been doing since literally the beginning of time. A little boy sees a knight during the Middle Ages, you know, a knight in shining armor kind of thing with his armor and his sword and his shield, and maybe he's riding his horse, his battle horse. A little boy sees that and is just like, fuck yeah, what do I want to be, a beggar like that idiot over there? Or a fucking badass like a guy like that. It's like when I was a little boy, we would go to the beach and uh, we would see, this was back in the 70s, We'd see lines of motorcycle clubs going to the beach in the summertime. It was like a big thing. These motorcycle clubs would crash the beach, they'd have their runs, and we just happened to go to the beach once a year at that same time, and I would look out the window at these bikes and these men and just be like, fuck yeah, that's for me. And I'm recognizing their strength. Of course, everybody has a weakness, but it's important to, I think, to have a mindset of strength because when you're making your daily goal to be forward movement towards becoming stronger you identify strength in others you identify you can cherry pick and 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 aspire to the to the closest strength to you and and this is like leveling up and next thing you know you are conquering your weaknesses and you're spending every day when you meet people, you can recognize people's strengths. That guy is really charismatic. That woman has a lot of nurturing and love. And these are strengths. I, I want to be able to be a little bit more nurturing and loving and I can be more like to her. And you know, this guy is, his charisma is so infecting. He must be a great salesman. I'd like to be more charismatic and have better uh, interactions in my relationships and to be able to be a better salesman at work. It's important to be able to make money. Geez, that's a quality I can move forward to. And you know, you can incrementally start building yourself up, becoming stronger, and everybody you meet becomes uh, this fascinating person. You can really have some, some valuable interactions with people when you're looking at their strengths instead of paying attention to their weaknesses. The problem with the weak mindset is that they literally bring themselves back and they bring everybody, they, they, they're, they're drowning and they're as anybody comes around them, whether it's to save them or just happens to be floating by, they want to bring them down also. The weak person has a natural outlook of the world, thinking that the world is a dangerous place, that we're insignificant in this world. I've had conversations like this with people that are weak-minded, and I've been weak-minded and used to feel like that. I used to truly believe that just say, for example, the fact that Earth has life on it, right? Just, just an example. Earth has life on it. I would like to believe in aliens. I would, I've never seen one. But I would like to think just by the law of averages, because there's so many planets and so many stars out there with planets orbiting them, that there are other life forms out there. But there's no verifiable proof. And in our immediate neighborhood, it looks like it's possible that we're alone. There may not be people on the moon and there may not be people on Mars. For some people to think about this makes them feel very insignificant. It, would, it used to make me think it, it, that humans and life, it was all meaningless and random and that we're just as, we're insignificant. That feeling of insignificance is a low feeling, a weak feeling, a feeling that you don't want to 
dwell on. You want to counteract with a sense of meaning. I I'm not insignificant. I'm significant. Life isn't meaningless. This isn't all for nothing. This is for something. This, th this is the difference between the strong and the weak mindset. As I became stronger, I started to realize that, sure, maybe the reality of just using my example with planet Earth in, in, the, in the solar system and in the universe, maybe there is no other planet that has life in our immediate neighborhood. I'm sure we'll figure this out at some point. Maybe not in our lifetime, but at some point we're going to find some other civilizations. But for now, it feels very lonely out here. And instead of that feeling of insignificance in the universe, as if we don't matter, I've realized as I've become stronger in my mindset that little things like that matter. It's incredibly uh, important. It's in it, it makes me feel special to know that there's not tons of other planets, that, that Mars isn't teeming with tens and millions of Martians. We are a special planet. We're special people. You are the only version of you. And you matter. When you don't feel significant, you, you don't feel like you matter. I don't matter. My life doesn't matter. My kids don't really matter. We're, we're like weeds. The weeds don't even matter. Nothing really matters. I've looked through a mindset of strength to see what matters. In the same way that when I meet people, I'm not looking at your weaknesses and trying to, to, to study them all and count them all up. If you have one strength, oh, God damn it, I want to fucking talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to figure out what that strength is. And maybe I can, you can teach me, you know, maybe we, I can learn from you. I can mimic like humans have done since the beginning of time. If you can do it, I can do it. I'm not sure if anybody's really getting it, but when you get on a path of strength, physical and mental, you start seeing strength. When you're lost in weakness, all you know is weakness. And the world becomes overwhelming. It's food for thought. Thanks for watching.